All right. Uh, the graph of a quadratic function is, I guess they didn't mention it on this one, but um, let's say that I had a graph like this, looking at the bottom there. And uh, the graph of a quadratic function should look something like this. A U, a bowl, half an oval. Technically, we call this a parabola. Para being one in some language. And bola meaning some kind of math garbage in a different language, all right? So uh, it may look like this, but sometimes maybe they'll turn it upside down, right? I think there's a song about that with wearing a frown and turning it upside down kind of stuff. Uh, we may deal with something that looks like this. It's the same idea. It's just been turned, right? And uh, it did tell us if A is positive, the A meaning right here, in the quadratic, then it opens upwards like this red parabola. If A were negative, then it would open downwards, meaning it would be kind of like a frowny face there in the purple. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. On these ones, the vertex is the very tip of that parabola. So on the red one, maybe the tip would be somewhere down here, right, in the very tip. For the purple one, maybe it would be something like this. And the nice thing about these is that they're all just kind of cut in half. It's like a mirror of itself, image of itself. So the red one would be cut in half right there. The purple one cut in half right there. If you could graph this electronically, it would look a lot better. But you guys are stuck with my drawing, so good luck. The vertex can be found using this. I'm going to call it a formula. I feel pretty good about that. So. <clears throat> the x value, notice, is just, you're just taking the b value, the negative of the b, and dividing it by 2a. Or you can take the b divided by 2a and just take the opposite of that. The second one, though, is f of that value. So once you find the x value, in the function, you just replace x with that x value that you found in the function and you'll have your y value. That may seem kind of funky but it works because you found your x value you just want the corresponding y value. This, on this side a slide the axis of symmetry is this line that cuts it in half and it, then it's the mirror image of itself. It's always going to go through the vertex which means the axis of symmetry is at whatever x value we find. All right, this one, we don't need a graph. We just want to find the vertex of the graph. So technically we could if we wanted to. But let's just acknowledge, first of all, what each value is. On this one, we have an a, which is a negative 1. That's the coefficient of x squared. b is a negative 8, which is the coefficient of x. And C is the constant, which is a positive 2. So in my ordered pair, um, I can find the X value by taking negative B over 2A. But I know my B value <coughs> is negative 8. And I know my A value Yes, thank you. A is a negative 1. And we're just going to solve this expression, fraction, whatever you want to call it. And we got a negative, negative 8, over 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And that becomes a negative. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is a positive 4. So the x value on this is a negative 4. And to find the corresponding y value, we're just going to replace that x value in the function. So my I'm looking at f of negative 4. So this should equal negative x squared minus 8 times x plus 2. But once again, we're replacing all the x's with the negative 4 that we found. All right, 
So this ends up being a negative 16, and we're going to make that a plus 32, plus 2. So that ends up being 18. I, I did that a little quick. Is that all right? I hope. Now the nice thing about this, and the homework should ask this stuff as well, is what would the, it's called the axis of symmetry. Uh, I guess that's, so on this one, it, not that it asked for it, but it probably will ask for the axis of symmetry, which in this case would be x equals negative 4 because it is a line. Right, if we were to look at the graph on this thing, it would probably go through and it would open downwards. Maybe something like that, where this is the vertex and the axis of symmetry is this blue line. That's why it's x equals, because it's always, at least for now, it's going to be a vertical line.